you are in for an unscripted, uncensored conversation that is likely to be nerdy, potentially controversial, but 100% laughable. This is A Kettle of Fish with your hosts, Robert, Paul, and Frank. So I had to go to the courthouse today. Right. And I spent four hundred and forty dollars, so that's fun. Okay. Um to file file divorce paperwork and uh also mail out said paperwork, which so is four hundred and twenty two dollars and then eighteen dollars to mail it out. Um on the Happy way Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's Day. <laughs> um on the way, I had to go straight down this fucking highway out here. Um I think this highway is cursed because is it the one that you hit that that Tropicana whatever the fuck no I don't truck even, no but or no the truck blocked you or something like that that's what it was traffic yeah I I don't know what it is with this road um so I get about halfway down down to where I need to go to get to the courthouse and mm. uh this little fucking piece of shit like i call them the hamster cars because that's the only time i remember it's like those giant those hamsters keels, drove them in those holes. like yeah in yeah. the commercials or whatever yeah. um and it comes out of fucking nowhere hauling ass um that's the it, it's, power. it's like 65 down that highway and he was doing 90 100 i don't fucking know <laughs> he was fucking just tearing ass down the road right. and I look ahead as he passes me like fucking Sonic the Hedgehog in a fucking vehicle form. And uh, I notice that traffic is side by side and it's not moving as fast as he is. Gotcha. And I'm like, he's going to hit them. He's a hundred percent not going to be able to slow down enough. And it, <laughs> Almost looked like he did. He almost ran it right into the back of this like mosquito truck thing or whatever. You know, the ones that got the big square fucking chemical jug tanks on the back of their trucks. Mm. Um, I could have sworn he might have hit him because I, I maybe the truck just hit a bump in the road and it bounced up. But like, wow, he got really fucking close if he didn't. Uh, so he is stuck behind this truck and the other traffic. And I see him contemplating going around it through the median because he keeps pulling off to the left really hard mm, and i'm just you. like dude no that's not a good idea there's cops up and down this road all for miles because the damn courthouse and sheriff's office is up here in the jail you should not be doing shit like that and well um so i get up beside him bad choice um Half of his car is probably like, you know, driver's side window level with me. Like the back half of his car is right there at my driver's side window. And I'm not really paying that much attention to him. And he's, I, I, I see just barely my peripheral vision. His, the front of his car moving into my lane. And I'm like, uh, no, sir, we are side by side. Do not do that. And I thought maybe he would correct. He did not. He then aggressively started pulling over and drove me into <laughs> the ditch, basically. Um, I'm kicking up dirt behind me because I'm going 65, 70 miles an hour and swerving off of the road because he has now shoved his way all the way into my lane. <laughs> I'm blaring on the horn and I'm just like freaking out, cussing, raising hell, flipping him off. I eventually just sit on the horn with my elbow, with my fist in my teeth because I'm just irritated. And I'm like gesturing to him to pull over because I'm about to beat him to death on the side of the highway out of just mm. pure frustration. And he, I see his face in the rear view. Have you seen that meme of Pedro Pascal looking at Nick Cage? Yeah, in the car. Yeah, yeah. that's his face. His head is tilted as far back as it can go, and his face is just, ah, and his eyes are halfway open. This dude is stoned out of his fucking mind. Yeah. 
So I'm just like behind him for a while. He gets back behind the mosquito truck and I get side by side with the mosquito truck. And then I slow down because I'm keeping his ass behind me at this point. I'm like, this dude needs to chill. (laughs) And I keep going and I see the mosquito truck getting over and I'm like, okay, great. Like he's, he's got his blinker on. He starts to hit the brakes a little bit. I look in the rear view mirror, the mosquito truck bounces because that guy has just hit the mosquito truck. (laughs) Paul, we need to get you a, like a dash cam, like a really good front and rear view dash cam. So he hits the mosquito truck, pulls out from behind the truck. Oh, it's not over. He pulls out and keeps going. Passes the mosquito truck, yeets back into the mosquito truck's like turning lane, almost getting the truck to hit him in the back as if to like make up for it, swerves back out into regular traffic and then into the next turning lane. I And then five seconds later, is it just after, Florida. Yes. Is it, is that, is that mm. that it was Florida man, but he had a Tennessee license plate. So, you know, oh, nice. Oh, oh WWPD calling him out on the podcast. What, what, <laughs> what uh, what county was it from? Do you I remember? have no idea. It was blue. I didn't read if the it, county. I just saw it was Tennessee and it was a blue tech. But like oh. it, after he turned off and went down some back dirt road bullshit, like five seconds later, two cops come just barreling up the other side of the highway, and I'm just like, where the fuck were you guys? Where the fuck were you? <laughs> and I thought that would be the end of my adventure on that highway. I, I got to the court. No, I did all the paperwork no, shit. Not. That took me like an hour and a half. And I was like, oh, fuck, I'm tired of being here. I was confusing layout. Got back on the highway. And I end up getting behind this this uh, flat bed truck thing that was transporting pallets. Well, obviously, this guy only had one fucking tension cord thing strap uh because he had the pallet stacked about 20 or so high and two different stacks uh and he is also hauling ass down the highway and i'm just like okay i had to get out from behind him because i was already scared at how they were like jenga towering on top of his fucking truck and uh then the traffic in front of me was going too slow. So I was like, all right, I can get back behind this asshole. He f- fucking like swerves very tiny bit. Just like, like maybe he slipped something. And I notice one of the pallets come loose at the top of his truck. And it bounces off the back of his truck bed and flies in the air. And I have very few moments to realize this swerve back over to the lane I was just in to avoid getting hit with a fucking wood pallet that then hits the road, bounces across the median into oncoming traffic on the other side of the highway and slides across the fucking road. And at one point I was just like, damn, that's a strong pallet. But at the same time, I was having a fucking panic attack. Like something is trying to kill me on this fucking highway. (laughs) What's... Ah. You just need to stop driving, dude. Every car that you've ever owned ends up in like a trash heap somewhere. And I I, I fear that you're going to be on the headlines dude, of probably. Uh, your local and then I got home and bent my fucking then. thumbnail backwards and broke it off. And I was just like, that's fun. I'm having a great day. So, yeah. <laughs> what was it? What was that? Oh, these are cards. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I was like, Jesus Christ. I thought it was your like knuckles. I was like, no, I was having a mini anxiety attack reliving the highway situation. So I was like fiddling with something. (laughs) That was his other thumbnail. Nah. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, man. Yeah. So that's that's my day. My my day has actually been pretty decent, but um, (laughs) compared to that, I don't (laughs) doubt. It's it's a rare day off, so uh, I oh yeah, I was struggling to find what to do. I was like, oh my god, what what, what what's happening? What do I do? Um, but but you had the day off and you didn't hit me up this morning to play video games or anything, dude. I didn't hit no one up. I didn't <laughs> no one up. I, I stayed was so the fuck home. <laughs> well, 
I I ran some errands and I got some projects and stuff done and I <laughs> helped my uh, mother in law out with some stuff. Her car like broke down or whatever. But anyways, gotcha. Um. So yeah, this is the the people are are great and dedicated audience don't know this but we haven't recorded in like a month over a month (laughs) it's been 87 years yeah it's been a while we had the the last time we recorded it was enough to cover two episodes so that's why we we were just like ah fuck it and took like well a rich guy vacation I wish that'd be great. <laughs> no, it was just it's just something that happened. But it feels good to be back and to be doing this and to um I'm always doing this. Be hey, that's a bold face lie. This is my I'm life. Bold face lie. Is um, it a bald face lie or a bold face lie? I think it's bold face lie. What if you're bald like face? You're bold. Like what if you have no beard? So it's just like ah, oh, that guy's is a liar. It? He has no facial hair. Look at him. Bold face lie. Let's see. Yeah. But was I bold does, in saying it? What does bold face lie mean? The you term. have a bold face and you're lying to someone without... <laughs> come on. It's very obvious. It refers to an obvious shameless lie <laughs> on, uh, on that the liar makes little or no effort to disguise the truth. Huh. <laughs> it's like, eh. Yeah, the sky's purple. Yeah, during the, during pretty the much. Day. Yeah. Water is dry. Yeah. <laughs> Water's right. dry. Frank, how have you been? Uh it's been a pretty hectic few weeks, you know, you guys uh yeah, I just got done with my inventory. Haven't gotten my results in yet for the store inventory, but uh thank God that's over. Um apart from that, uh everything's been peachy keen. Well, that's good. Um yeah. It's just a lot of work, uh, work, work, work. You have an attempted vehicular homicide like Paul. Yeah. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over Paul. What was that? <laughs> said, uh, you haven't committed vehicular homicide like Paul yet. Well, you know, that's that's just the everyday for me. I just don't let it get to me like Paul does. Oh, my God. Gotcha. I I was <laughs> literally going to commit manslaughter. They couldn't call it murder because it was justified, but I was definitely going to commit like first degree manslaughter. Justified. If that guy pulled over. Justified. It was justified. <laughs> it was justified in the eyes of the law. That's the question. The eyes of the law and the Lord. You don't it's in the Bible. You don't drive <laughs> someone off the road like that. It's like it's the 11th <laughs> commandment. Because they had cars in the Bible. Yes, they did. Jesus drove a hot rod. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he was doing for three days in that cave. He was refurbishing his hot <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What kind of his car would rod. Jesus drive? <laughs> what? What kind of car would Jesus drive? A, a Buick Dude. Skylark. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because <laughs> Skylarks catch fish. Uh, I don't know. I... I he would probably drive nothing American. I no, I think it would be a Cadillac Eldorado. Probably a BMW or uh, Eldorado. Okay, yeah. What whatever like rich Middle Eastern guys drive? Those like the <laughs> the Phantoms, right? Yeah, or the like the Rolls the Royce. Rolls Royce. Yeah. 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 No, Jesus wouldn't be that flashy, man. He would drive like a fucking nah. station wagon pulled by like a mule. <laughs> like he wouldn't even have the end. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Come on. Good. The busted ass station That's wagon. Funny. I saw he wouldn't this. wouldn't even ride in it. It would just be like the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> They're just sitting up on the roof. <laughs> yeah, man. Trolling it with some reins. The fucking little taxi. Uh, Jesus taxi. Jesus, yeah, take the wheel. Much. There is no wheel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> terrible. I was looking over over my notes since since we've recorded. I've I've written down a lot of notes and a lot I, of things to bring up. I have a couple of things. Yeah, well, I have the, one the, the, one one very specific thing before I forget because I keep forgetting it. And okay. It, it is the highlight of my morning every morning during the week. Okay. There is a reporter that works for the local news on the radio, at least. I don't know what else she does. Uh, she does traffic updates. 
Uh-huh. The way she says her name kills me because she <laughs> enunciates it very clearly so you understand what it actually is. Okay. Her name and it kills me. Her name is Shafalika Botnocker. <laughs> It you makes me laugh. That's a bald ass lie. That I is shit not you not. True. It is. It's Shafalika Shafalika Botnocker. You know I'm Google Googling here. Here I come. Shafalika <laughs> Botnocker. It's spelled slightly different. Oh, ho, ho, than it, you would think. She exists. She exists. It's Shafalika Botnocker. W O K V. Yep. University of North Florida <laughs> graduates. Well, shout out, shout out to Shafalika. Shafalika just... Botnocker. <laughs> God damn it. Why is the G pronounced with it like Potter. a cat? Because she's like Middle Eastern or something. I don't know, man. Look at that name. Uh, sure. It's crazy. That's got so many vowels. Yeah, there really are a lot of vowel, <laughs> vowels. In. It's so, so many. Every morning, you just look forward to this. Like this, I is do, what, man, because it's so you. the way we've got it timed out. It's like it's I'm I'm as soon as I hit the highway and I'm all, like I'm heading to work. It, the traffic update comes on, and the it, moment he cranks up his car, it's like a butt knocker. And sometimes <laughs> I catch the end of it, yeah. And then sometimes I, it was the only like reason I kept listening to the radio because I turned it on randomly one morning and I heard that and I busted right. out laughing. And I was like, oh, I'm listening to the radio every morning now. I are you laughing her at her name fan. or are you laughing at the fact that she was enunciating it? Both. <laughs> because the first time I heard it, I could have swore she said butt knocker. And I'm just like, that's not real. And, <laughs> and then I heard it again. And I keep I have been thinking about it for weeks and I've wanted to tell you guys, but I wanted to wait till we were on the podcast to talk about it. That's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. But yeah, you can continue with your notes now. I just wanted to to bring that to the public's attention. No, uh, you, you're 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 perfectly good. Uh, that's I would have, I would have <laughs> probably take a second look on that one as well. Like, um, what did she say? Yeah, no, I um, was like, I wish I could rewind. Fucking, radio. Yeah. <laughs> um. So the first thing that I wanted to bring up was me getting super <laughs> triggered on the last episode. Uh, <laughs> it, we split it up into two, you know, part one and a part two because it was so damn long. But in the first part, it was just the two of you and Tyler for a period of time. Yeah. During that time. So this is technically episode like 26 or 69. Point. One. Yeah, point one. <laughs> so not 70, but 69. All right. Anyways. Um you guys were talking about sweating in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yes. Yes. Tyler mentioned swap something. Ass. Yeah, and swap bass. And you talk about the silhouette of Paul, like yeah. uh, when you're in Perry and all that stuff. Yeah, but man. then the subject of two sheets comes up. Uh-huh. And people mm-hmm. sleeping with two sheets and you're like who sleeps with two sheets it's nonsense now the thing that had me yelling at the at the the recording going like what the fuck are you guys talking about is we we need to to explain that there's a difference between a sheet and, and a, a fitted sheet blanket and a fitted sheet yes yeah. like a comforter i think he meant i think he meant like a fitted sheet and a regular sheet so, is that what he meant by two is sheets? Is that what I meant? Probably. A sheet and a regular sheet? Probably. Well, it, it came to me like, it, or it came across me like two two pieces of fabric laying on top of you. No, no, so, no, no, no. But it, it's like, it doesn't make sense to me to, to have a sheet that covers the bed and then another sheet and then a blanket. It's like, that's what the blanket's yeah. for. I don't no, need... I think he was talking about a fitted sheet and then a sheet and then a blanket. Yeah, I guess. So, but... So, but how so what what were you saying is just bullshit though paul like is what are you talking about how, how, do you just have one sheet on top of i have the, the fitted sheet the, no i just have the fitted sheet so what do you have laying on top of you a blanket like a like you know a, a the 
the thing that was made to lay on top of you. So, all right, but there's no like flat sheet that's like just this really no. thin. I would burn it. <laughs> but it doesn't make sense. It gets in the way, and it like w- when you're trying to make a bed, it's like oh, now I've got this other thing that I've got to get flat and look nice. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. And it's like, do you put, do you tuck the pillows under it or do you tuck it under the pillows? Nobody fucking knows. And then you forget about it when you get in the bed, and then it gets pulled out from under the. It's too much fabric. Just need so a what, fitted sheet. And what then do a you do when you go to a hotel? Because normal people have. I push a sheet it all the way to the end, and, and it's like crumbled up, like, like at like the very either off the edge of the bed or like at the edge. So like but when you they keep the blanket, the comforter. Yes, I cl- I keep the comforter. Yeah. Which is infinitely more hot than the sheets. Uh, it's okay because I turn the AC like all the way down. Well, I mean, everybody does. As soon as you walk through the door, you turn yeah. the AC down to like 55 if you can. Or yeah. 50. Yes. As low as yes. you can. I, I agree with that. <laughs> but yeah, I still use the sheet. I don't use yeah, the sheet. Yeah, we have a sheet and a like a quilted blanket. If it's sorts. hot, I sleep no blanket. If it's cold, I sleep blanket. I can't. If I sleep I, kind of like in the middle, I sleep like half blanket, half under, off. Well, you know? Yeah, well, I think we all have those times where you have yeah. like the one leg out to kind of regulate things. No, I mean, but, it's like I pull it split straight up the middle of my body. And it's just... But, <laughs> Yeah, but so it's at like all points in time, you have yeah. something on top of you. Oh, I have I, I typically have a comforter. Yes, that would have that would have triggered Tyler so bad. That would have fucking sent him reeling. Oh my god! God, damn it. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so, but you do acknowledge that there is a difference between a fitted sheet, a sheet, and a blanket. Yeah, but I I just call them sheets, man, because that's I grew up in the goddamn dirt part of the fucking south where language is fucking I grew up in the same place you did you did not grow up <laughs> in the same place I did I grew up in the like fucking boonies being raised we by people the that same fucking high school. <laughs> yeah but the people who raised me grew up in like 1904 so like the terminology is slightly different <laughs> have we ever gone over how old my parents were <laughs> I do not want to talk about it <laughs> I assume my parents old. Were old. uh <laughs> <laughs> my parents were 40 when they had me so oh fuck that shit yeah um but no <laughs> so, so it's just because my grandma called it all she it was all sheets all of it it's like did you put the sheets on the bed and she would that was like a blanket term <laughs> for mm. all <laughs> of the good. stuff That's that good. went on the bed um and i hated it for sheets so if I, somebody told me like if aaron said hey will you put yeah. the sheets on the on the bed I yeah. would know what she meant as in it would be the sheet yeah, and the blanket. No. Nah. But when you're talking about them individually. No, nah, well, see, I never really got to talk about them individually. It was like, did you make the bed? Did you put the sheets on it? That was kind of, that's it. And I hated making a bed. So as soon as I was an adult yeah. and anytime there was that extra sheet, because making the bed with that extra sheet is such a fucking nightmare, I would get rid of it. <laughs> It's funny that you say. So I also hate making the bed, yeah. but it's like one of those things that no, I hate doing it so much, and I feel like it's going out of my way so much. Whenever well, I do that, do it, that I want like praises that middle layer <laughs> sheet in the fucking cake that is a bed. It is the most fucking annoying piece of f- fucking fabric to 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 make a bed. It's the easiest shit if you take out that sheet because then you're just pulling up the blanket, folding it over. Done. Nah. You you fucking that sheet. You've got to tuck Paul, that shit uh, in. You got to fucking pull it up right. You got to go to the other side, pull it up. Go to the other side, pull it up. Because now it's uneven. You got to make sure it's fucking straight across the top. All the wrinkles are fucking moved. Up. No, just grab the comforter, pull it up to the pillows, fold it down off the pillows. Done. Clean. I don't think you've experienced quality bed sheets. Uh, I just don't care, though. I have a you, quality comforter. If, if you experience <laughs> quality bed sheets in addition to the quality comforter, I don't. That's so much extra. It can, but it's oh my god. And then I get it hotter. Can be so it can be so worthwhile, Paul. I already Trust sweat me on too this. much. Trust me on this, Paul. And then I get r- like I get tangled up in it, you, and it it's like you I, strike me as you strike me as a person who likes to have a little bit more control 
uh, in certain situations, and a sheet can give you so much more control. It True. makes me feel like I'm being strangled to death. No, that's just the person no. you're sleeping with. I because <laughs> so it's like why I can't wear a shirt to sleep ever. I can never Same. wear a shirt to sleep. It drives me nuts. Yeah, I, I, it's I can't the do that extra either. fabric. I don't like all these it extra could be layers. Ten degrees outside, and then and it I'll gets wrapped all boxers. around me, and I'm just like, Ugh, and I fucking hate. I hate it. I can't. I can't. And then there are times where, like, if I do try to wear a shirt to sleep, then it gets tight around my neck, and it literally feels like it's choking me, and I hate it. Yeah. I. Yeah. No. I. I. Again, I agree with you on that one. Again, though, it's so frustrating. With the right. With the right. With the right fabric. Shirt. It, it makes a difference. Fucking, it really does. Yeah, well, I mean, that's you guys have fun enjoying that for the next ten years of my life until I die. I, I will not be using a sheet. So, uh, so I'll hey, die at forty cool, three. So, we're, you know. we're not we're not knocking you for it. I'm just saying that you know. Now, see, I do like like nice blankets and cover, like weighted blankets or like cooling blankets stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like I, I enjoy that stuff, but like I just don't need that extra layer you know what i mean like i just don't need it if i lived in like antarctica i still would just need the comforter i'm just fine it's gotcha. fine i got gotcha. you it's fu- I, I can't believe that triggered you robert because you just triggered yeah, me again. i was like <laughs> I, I was i was like what the fuck man or what what yeah, what? yeah. i'm yeah. sorry okay all right so that's one note out of the way <laughs> yes yeah. What's the next? Uh, what else you got, Rob? The, <laughs> what else? The you, said, you said you got a lot of ro- a lot of notes. Did, so let's let's. Did you guys ever like in uh yes. in your in your youth ever have or know somebody who had a secret stash? What kind of secret stash? Just like oh, well, I'll. Are we talking drugs, it. guns, pornography? I don't really think of guns as being a secret stash. When I hear a secret stash, I'm thinking... It depends on who you're keeping it a secret from. The When I hear a secret stash, uh, I'm thinking porn and or drugs. Or yes. al- alcohol. Yeah, alcohol. We'll, we'll throw that in there, too. Power did you get caught with it? Or did your friends get caught? Um... No, I, pr- I had a pretty good hiding so, spot. So, no, no and yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no to you getting caught? <laughs> no to me getting caught. No okay. to my brother getting caught. <laughs> and yes to my friends getting caught. Nice. Was it the same stash that they got caught with? <laughs> Woo! No. Oh, okay. Why does everybody have a secret stash? Like, I, I, I don't... Well, so... <sighs> I didn't have a secret stash of porn. I guess I guess there is a statute of limitations now, but I can go ahead and, t- I can go ahead and tell you guys a, a little bit of a story if you guys want to take a few minutes of time. Absolutely. Um, <coughs> so, uh, man, when I was younger, uh, my brother and I, uh, well, my brother mainly, he came into possession of a, an 8-bit Nintendo um in less than legal means and um oh you had a secret stash of uh, stolen stuff yeah he he kept his secret from my folks and we had we had what we called the nintendo escape route (laughs) uh because the tv was in the den uh i don't think either of you you know you guys never been to my parents house no uh and we had the living room and then the den was an offshoot from the living room. But then you could go from the den into the living room and then you could go to the back of the house from the living room into the dining room. And then from the dining room, you go into the kitchen and then the kitchen would connect to the hallway, which would also connect into the living room. Mm. And then the hallway would connect to my bedroom, a bathroom and Mike's bedroom. So the front door was also in the living room. So in essence, you could take the back way around the house. If they were coming in through the front door, you could kind of sneak around the back way uh, as they were coming in the front door from the den. So that way you could kind of get around the back of the house without them knowing. I see. So that was kind of the Nintendo escape route. And, um, yeah, <laughs> we would be playing Nintendo and I would kind of be the lookout. 
uh, while he would be playing or vice versa. We would take turns. And uh, the den was right there at the uh, end of the driveway. So, yeah, it was super easy to tell as they were pulling up into the driveway. You, you would hear it. You would also see it right out the window. So, you know, they pull up and like, Nintendo Escaper, Nintendo Escaper. <laughs> so we we quickly pack everything up and go, go, go. Right? <laughs> and, you know, if you guys remember the 8-bit Nintendo, it wasn't easy no. to uh, disconnect from the TV in seconds. You know, it, yeah. was, it was quite a feat, but we, we had kind of mastered it. Uh, and uh, we came really close one time to getting busted. Uh, we ended up leaving the little RF adapter hooked up to the back of the TV <laughs> and just prayed to God they didn't notice. <laughs> and uh, we we managed to get away with it uh, until uh, after dinner when they, uh, I don't remember what they ended up doing, but they, they went back out. I think they went to the grocery store or something. At that point, we just said, you know, we're not going to hook it back up. Let's just disconnect it and call it a night. And uh, we we stashed it for the night. And then they ended up buying us a Nintendo for uh, my birthday later that year. So Mike ended up disposing of the... Uh, Ill-begotten the goods. Yes, yes, the <laughs> ill-begotten goods. And uh, we never, we never really spoke of it again after that. Imagine, I can imagine now there's some, I don't know, you know, 50, 60 year old dude who's like, I found this Nintendo in the dumpster one well, day. <laughs> so no, actually they, they did find it in the sewer, um, several blocks away. Um, and, um. <laughs> they they pinned it on another kid. Oh my no. god! Yeah, <laughs> nothing nothing really came of it though. So uh, we didn't. I never pressured Mike to come clean or anything because it, it was another kid. We like I I played with this kid growing up, right? And I, I felt kind of guilty about it until I found out that he didn't really get in serious trouble. They just they like interrogated the kid and they pressed him really hard, but he never like got charges pressed or anything. I gotcha. But they did try to pin it on him. Uh, it was just pretty messed up, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was so messed up, dude. <laughs> no, if it, it's kind of similar subjects as far as like skirting the law. Um, mm -hmm. I remember a oh, few years ago, a story that you told and I don't know if it was just something my brain came up with or if you actually did tell it. But was there something with you and downloading MP3s and getting a knock on the door? Is that, is that something or that actually happened or am I just making that up? A knock on the door? Yeah, well, like so if you're um, illegally downloading music from like LimeWire or some shit. And so I didn't get a knock <coughs> on the door. I did get a... Uh, harshly written letter a letter i got a letter <laughs> from the cable company oh yeah uh and then they actually disconnected <laughs> my service uh and then i had to sign a, a an agreement to stop doing it otherwise they would fine me like ten thousand dollars or something jesus <laughs> Yeah, so I was like, "Oh, that's that. No more, uh, no more legally downloading MP3s." Oh, uh, see, I, <laughs> I never had that problem. But that, I've I downloaded that so much illegal music. I, oh, I, 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 I did too, but I, I started using uh, VPNs after that. Yeah, but um, even then, I, I kind of like after a while, I stopped doing it. Uh, but the the thing that I had trouble for was um, actually it wasn't MP3s; it was the um, what was it? It was, um, I was downloading, um, uh, fan subbed anime, but oh. it was, um, who was it? Funimation. Funimation was starting to do their whole, um, serial thing where they were doing the streaming rights. Mm. Oh, and, yeah. uh, even though it was fan subbed, they were saying, oh no, we're streaming it now. So, we're we're coming after you for copyright infringement. Right. And I was like, but it's fan subbed. I'm getting it fan subbed from overseas. So it's not 
copyright infringement because there's nobody airing it where I'm at. Oh. Unless it doesn't matter because we're still <clears throat> airing it online. You can pay for our s- service through our website. And I was like, well, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, no, that's that's that, not happening. That so, almost... I don't know like all the technical like sides of it, loopholes and things like that, but that almost would fall under um, f- fair use uh, parody law. But uh, it, since it was the exact animation, that's where it's like kind of falls apart. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's, it's it wasn't parody. That's the thing. No. So, because um, fan subbing is it's same content and everything. So I mean, right. So, but anyhow, um, yeah, that I think that was what it was. I remember at one point, LimeWire was a big deal, but I don't remember it being something that got me in trouble. It was actually the uh, fan sub anime that almost got me fined. Well, let me tell you the loop that my brain took, uh, because I mean, this is a story that I heard you talk or you heard you say, you know, years and years ago, I'm like easily. What, 10 15 years ago or something like that 40 um, years ago yeah i this is this is how memories work and this is how my mind worked <laughs> but the story that i remembered was you were downloading music you got in trouble they were like we're gonna find you a fuck ton of money and you were like oh nay nay i actually own this music already and like pulled boxes down from the attic of the shit that you all owned. Cause the loophole was that if you owned the CD or whatever, you could have like a digital copy of it. And right. so people would just download the shit. Um, but that was, I don't know why, but that was the memory that I had. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I remember, I remember a conversation we were having there. Oh, so yeah. I, okay. okay so, so I'm not. I'm not was, completely dumb. No. No. You, no. No. You, you're. I remember the conversation. No. There was a conversation I had with a GBI agent. Oh. Um. And he was going. He was going off the rails at me about. I told him I had like four or five gigs worth of music on oh, my computer. I gotcha. And he's like, "Well, that's against the law." I'm like, "It's not against the law for me to have four gigs worth of music on my computer." Yes, it is. It's illegal to have music downloaded to your computer. It's like, no, it's not. I can prove it. And he's like, "Well, no, you can't. It's against the law. I'll come seize your computer right now." I was like, "Well, you can try." And he's like, "Well, I'm going to do it." I was like, "What's your address?" Well, here's my driver's license. You come to my house right now, and I will fucking sue you. And he's like, "No, you will not." And I'm like, "Yes, I will. I'm going to show you every single CD that I own to show you that I own every last track." That that's on that computer. So you want to try again? Cause that, that's what it was. I got and, you. Uh, yeah. Cause I back up all I, at the time I backed up all my music cause I was making, um, MP3 CDs so I could listen to them in my car. Right. As everyone did. Yeah. Back then. Absolutely. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's what it was. I'm, I'm glad to know that I wasn't completely fabricating oh, yeah, it, that it memory. Was, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Completely insane. I mean, because we all know how that works, right? You know, memories get altered uh, over yeah. time and all that well, it's, shit. Well, it's the grapevine effect. Right. Exactly. Robert, did you have any secret stashes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. Tell us, Robert. I have two. I have two. Two. Uh, two. Well, one was a friend's and one was mine. Uh, mine. I'll, I'll save that one for last. The friend of mine was the first and only like porn stash that I knew of. And I, I don't remember if he told me about it or if it was the Holy Grail, it, dude, you, it was because we're talking like, cir- <laughs> oh man, this is like what, 1995, 94. So like internet was around, but it wasn't like prevalent. Um, and his parents had internet at the house, but it was like in the living room where everybody was going to be. There was no like going there and looking at stuff or whatever. Um, and he had his dad had it in his office that was like in a trailer in the backyard. That's a, a whole nother story. Um, but I remember coming over to, to hang out with him, spend the night and just like play video games and shit. And he it's was like, dude, at all. I got to show you something. And he go, we go in his room. He goes to the far back corner next to his like this big ass like 
notebook case sort of heavy ass thing. He reaches <laughs> between the wall and the bookcase and pulls out this like shredded to pieces. <laughs> Just terrible, terrible magazine. I don't even remember what the magazine was. It wasn't placed uh, Playboy. It, I, it might have been Hustler. It was uh, a little Crusty extra. Pages <laughs> stuck together. <laughs> what, <laughs> what I wanted to <laughs> Every time I came over to his house, I was like, I got to see that magazine real quick. <laughs> Let me take a look at it. <laughs> see, I, I had an older brother. My brother is seven years older than me. So that that all that's kind of like old hat crap. Right. So that like the whole porn stash thing was like nothing new. He, he always had nudie mags and shit. No, I, got you. You know, I grew up. I grew up in the 80s. So that. Yeah, the Internet didn't exist right so it was all about the nudie mags right and him and his friends that's that that was like trading baseball cards and shit (laughs) and then you know all my friends you know they they get it they get a nudie mag or something they'd be like oh my god look what i got and like right big deal man my my brother can go to the store and buy these things right (laughs) so man i uh, feel bad because y'all secret stashes are like way cooler what what uh what was your secret stash rob well i was, I was actually kind of reminded of a second one that didn't really uh, uh, blow uh, yeah exactly no um so I, I was i was older but the hooker's ass yes exactly uh i kept no. it severed in a box in the woods <laughs> oh, jesus <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that escalated quickly. Um, no, so I there was all right the the small small time. Um, I had bought a couple magazines. It's the first and only time I ever actually bought porn. I don't even really know why I did it to begin with because it wasn't great. It was just, and this was well after the internet. <laughs> I guess I guess it was yeah. just to say that I have done a it. Rite of passage. Yeah, like just to say I did it, but. Yeah. Uh, because was, you could because it was in the black you know black cellophane you kind of feel like a little you get that I little rush that of once. adrenaline and you're like what's well, going on and people are like why well, it's just a, a porn mag like well, but no you have to understand my family is super conservative super like church going just imagine um, you in like a back alley with a trench coat and a brown fedora <laughs> it's raining it's like go up to a stall it's like hey you got any of those porn porn mags <laughs> <laughs> you got any of those booby mags <laughs> no Fucking keep it on download it. my my family's like super conservative I don't need this getting out don't need this leaking <laughs> to the public I need to need to keep my reputation yeah no. so we're, we're I back kept here it in, in my alley car. Away from the eyes of Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> I, kept, I kept it in my car, and uh, my mom found it. Oh, of course, um, you kept it in your car. But it was, uh, you know, it instantly came. It instantly became somebody else's. Right? It was uh, like I don't know where that came from. Oh, I wonder. I, I bet that was John Jacob I Jingleheimer was, Schmidt. <laughs> I bet that was Craig's. He's always in my car and he brings shit like that in there all the time. I love how just like flippantly you threw Craig under the bus. Poor Craig. <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck Craig. Your brain just yeah. making those connections. Uh, so she made me burn them. Um, the burn them. Holy <laughs> shit. The, the, the legit stash that I had was uh, after I was 21, I had bought some alcohol or whatever and brought it to a house party and we're talking like i don't know it was a bottle of wine and some rum and shit like that stuff that you buy when you first are able to buy um but of course i did not leave it at the house because there was like whole ass bottles left or more than half I was like no, i'm not wasting that money i'm taking it back home with me but i hid it in my closet it was in a box like shoved in the back corner covered up by like clothes and shit. Like nobody knew it was there. So I thought, mm-hmm. uh, I come home one day and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to drink some rum. I want some rum. Right? Rum, rum. Again, I'm of age. Nothing is illegal about this. It's not even 
technically really a secret stash. It only is because, again, the parents. I reach back there, grab a bottle. I can't find a bottle. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? So, you know, go and dig under the clothes, a turn the box around. The completely the empty. Everything is gone. It's like six bottles of whatever the fuck, whatever it was. I was like, Whoa. you know, instantly, you know, you, you, you know what happens, right? Like, you're like, okay, well, obviously. Mom found it and burned it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, obviously somebody found it. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagining, like, Robert's hand reaching back there, the fucking, like, dotted silhouette of the bottle, like, blink, blink. And just <laughs> fucking <Yeah>. whomp, 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 whomp. <laughs> sad face. Um, Mom comes down. So I was like, you know what? How do I, I, I'm 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 at an impasse here. I either ask questions about it, which opens up to more like shit. No, that opens or, up to parrot questions. Well, why did why why do you think? <laughs> yeah, interrogation. Exactly. Yeah. Like so, this is know, a trap. There's, there's, <laughs> it's yeah. a trap. It is. It's like, a trap. I so, either yeah. say something or I just let it fly, let it slide, and learn my lesson. And that's and exactly then they bring it did. up ten Christmases later. No, and that's <laughs> the thing. <laughs> they never nobody brought nobody said anything. So nobody. a gremlin could have stole your alcohol, and you would never know because I would have never known yeah. until. Well, yeah. Here's here's the thing, man. Like you, you were staying at your parents, right? Yeah, their well, house, the their thing, rooms. man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like man. you know, I'm on the other side of it now. So yeah, but yeah. my I, shit about I get parenting it. I get it. was I like get it. the the fucking like rigmarole of it all. Like, well, why do you think you did it? Like the interrogation <laughs> shit, or yeah. like uh, fucking blatantly laying traps and not just being upfront with you about shit like that has always driven me crazy it's like i don't know i'm eight years old my brain hasn't finished developing please enlighten me paul yes i worry about you paul i know i just <laughs> i really do we always worry about paul oh no, my my, so my it, least favorite thing was the the like Stop making up excuses. Well, then how can I explain why something happened? An excuse uh, yeah. is an explanation of a fact. It's yeah. this. Is, you always have an excuse. Yes, because there is an explanation. I'm not. What do you want me to? I don't know. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. <laughs> With the fucking. My. Uh, uh, but my thing about it is that it wasn't until. After my both mom and dad had passed away. Yeah. So it was, oh God, maybe like two years ago that I was riding with my cousin, Danielle, friend of the show, Danielle. We were talking and she was like, oh, yeah, I was, I was wondering if she ever told you about that. I came home one day and saw your mom like over the sink, pouring out bottles and throwing it in the trash and then oh, taking the trash out. Damn. I thought you were going to rat Danny out now and just be like, oh yeah, she, she went back there and chugged all six bottles. <laughs> no, no, no. Damn. She just hands you a case, a case of liquor. Oh, here, by the way, they had this stash <laughs> until, you know, <laughs> until you moved out. They're going to give it back to you. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I treasure was like, trove. I was like, it's I, worth can't, like I can't believe six it. Six times what you paid for it. Yeah. I can't believe that that secret had lasted that long and nobody funny. said anything. They took that but, to the grave. Yeah, my mom really did. She Jeez. really did take it to the grave. I um yeah my secret stash isn't as cool as you guys is. Uh <laughs> I didn't really hide stuff very uh, like I didn't need to and I didn't really collect porn or anything like that. I mean by the time I got around to the age of curiosity the internet was in full flux so true. Um but so I when I was younger though when I was living out in the country uh I did have a secret stash of candy and chocolate uh, because I have to this day still an aggressive sweet tooth. I crave uh -huh. candy, sugar, chocolate. Like I need it. 
Uh, <laughs> I have like an addiction to it. Um, mm-hmm. And so my, my grandparents had a treat box and after like a meal or some shit, you could get one treat out of the treat box. I would sleight of hand two or three treats at a time. Like I would reach in for one, but actually like move one with my fucking ring finger underneath. Like, and I thought I was slick as shit about doing it. And then I would take the extra treat and like stow it away somewhere. And I had like a little box that I had hidden out in a barn. Basically. I mean, a lot of it ended up getting super melted, but, (laughs) um, (laughs) I'd fucking like, I would, I would move it around too. Cause we had a, a, a box freezer, uh, like out in one of the barns. And I, I would put it in there sometimes, or I'd fucking hide it under a bunch of fucking shit, or I'd hide it up in the rafters or something. Like, I'd, I would just constantly move it around, because I didn't have the energy to bother putting it somewhere that I had already had it. Like, if I had it somewhere up high, and I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to climb back up there. Or some bullshit like that. Because <laughs> I was right. lazy back then, too. Um, but yeah. And eventually, and it, what sucks is because, you know, I realized as an adult, man, I was way better at saving chocolate and candy than I am money. And I don't know why I can't take like a little bit of money and put it aside. Uh, yeah. Surprisingly, no rats got into it. Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> it, well, because I had it in like a fucking <laughs> Tupperware thing with like a sealed lid. Frank, Frank posted uh, yeah. in our Discord pictures like a, of rats. P- or a, no, it's gif, a gif. Gif of rats. <laughs> um yeah so i would store candy and, and um eventually my grandmother found it and like scolded the fuck out of me but like i i just would stow away candy that was my secret stat. i fucking loved candy i would All i right. would just take candy from I, sometimes i'd take it from people i i never <laughs> stole it out of a store but i would take people <laughs> other people's candy and <laughs> <laughs> I never Just stole out of a store, Veruca but salt, I would steal right? like yeah, well, fucking like kids and shit at school. If they had like candy sticking out of their pocket or backpack or fucking like they had it set on the table, like I'd fucking distract them and take their candy bar and like fucking walk off. Um, fucking <laughs> 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 candy thing, dude. I was, I was, because I would get those fucking like addict cravings. It's like, fuck, I need that Hershey's chocolate in my veins. <laughs> like it just it was fucking. I mean, it's still outrageous. Like we were at the grocery store and uh, sweet tooth addiction kicked in because I saw the nerd gummy ball things. Oh yeah, those and things are good. I just oh, yeah, saw them out of my good. peripheral vision too, and it's like without even thinking, they were in my hand. By the time I walked by, and, <laughs> and I looked down, and I was like, well, oh, and I threw it in the cart, and <laughs> it's it's crazy. Uh, yeah, I so, yeah, e- Easter is definitely high on your list. Then, dude, Easter's up there, dude. Like, I you can't let me in the grocery store during Easter. I've got I and the. Like I've made it to where I've basically gaslighted everyone in my life to understand that the giant hollow Easter bunny is a tradition for me. So like they know I want it. Right. And and so I get at least one. It's terrible. All right, y'all, y'all gotta change topics. Y'all got me jumping some candy. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> oh man. So that's my secret say I love that Easter bunny, man. <laughs> the um I, I was debating if I wanted to bring this up or not. Yeah. Um, but I guess I can kind of get your opinions on it. Hmm. Are, are you familiar with the Anheuser Busch and Bud Light debacle? Oh, the the trans spokesperson or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and the can that they <clears throat> put the out. Kid, and, kid Rock shooting shit. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah. Very I was gonna get your your opinion because like for, for me it's like why are, I sp- mean I think it's two think separate it's, separate it's, issues going it's a, on. It's uh, a re- recap recap for me because I'm only vaguely familiar with it because I've been so yeah re- recap him real quick. So the way I understand it is <clears throat> well I saw it as two separate issues, but apparently it's kind of all the same. Um. Anheuser Busch did a like LGBT plus uh, can that had like you know rainbows and stuff on it. It's like whatever. Every every company does it. Um, it's fine. 
I don't know what triggered it though. Like it is it like Pride Month or something? Like is there? It was Pride Month back in like February or some shit. I don't know. Uh, so it wasn't even for that. Yeah. Um, but then they also had this uh, endorsement deal or whatever with Dylan Mulvaney, which I don't know a whole lot about them. I, the way that I took it was that they were some sort of like a controversial figure, but it also seems like they're controversial only because they're trans. Yeah. Pretty, I mean, and it's like, it, 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 it was so ridiculous that I, I'm, I'm like, I was racking my brain. Like, why is this such an issue? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I mean, not you, you look at it perspectively or objectively, and it's just like, so who cares? It's it's a man pretending to be a woman on a can of water pretending to be a beer. So who really gives a <laughs> shit? <laughs> I did see I did see people draw parallels like that. It's like, yeah. oh well, that's water pretending to be water. It's, yeah, fuck, uh, fuck, fuck it's, Bud Light and Anna. I, I don't I don't <clears throat> the whole the whole issue of But like not because of the trans thing, is, just because that is a disgusting beverage. It is definitely not yeah. great. But the thing that I f- thought was hilarious about <laughs> it were all of these fucking snowflakes that were like, Rar, not my beers. Ah, well, oh, I'm yeah, not drinking Bud Light no more. Kid and, Rock the, and they go fire. off and move, move on to like Coors or whatever. It's like, do you do you not this remember is the when exact Coors did the same thing? This is the exact like, same thing that happened when Trump was being voted in and everybody said they're moving to Canada. This is right. right. I, it's just what? Why is? Why does it matter? First off, it's still shitty beer. Okay. Uh, it, so, it, it, and it, then it, the people, and the people who are defending it are the same people that were going up in arms about the whole Hogwarts legacy thing. Yeah, probably. Right. Definitely. Right. Well, and, and on top of that too, it's like <laughs> that game's you know, awesome. These the the, the game is, is awesome. Yes. Um, I hated that for streamers have, and stuff getting like hated out of existence. Yeah, huh? that's it's just but, oh but, my god. Gosh. The thing that like it makes me even more like, what the fuck is going on with uh, these people? Because it's the same group of people that were like, no, private businesses or businesses in general, period, have the right to pretty much like you do know, whatever you can they support want. and do whatever you want. It because it came down to like the the baker in Florida that didn't want to do a cake for the gay couple. They're like, no, that bakery could absolutely do that, which is true. The bakery yeah. could. You and can, should be able you to have do the right it. to refuse service. Exactly. Yep. And yeah. on that same note, Budweiser has every right and has every, you know, they I find, can do whatever I f- they want. I, I just, just find or, it very funny that in this nation of freedom of speech, we just have to tiptoe around things we say. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it's but it's just, it's so pretty fucking, fucking ridiculous. funny to me how both sides I, I don't is very much shit. like, Fuck there's it. a lot of pots <laughs> calling kettles black. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, big time. But you know, it, it's, it's just so it's the, it's wild the, to the me. Cancel culture, the toxicity of it all, and I love how like those groups are like, "Oh, men are toxic," and I'm like, "No, no, they're <laughs> not." Uh, have you looked at the LGBT plus groups at all? I won't even say that because like there's a lot of people that I know of that are in that community that are perfectly fine yeah. and okay. And but it's, it's just also it doesn't matter if I think that they're fine or okay. What what ultimately I think A, I don't care. I don't care yeah. who you're into or what you're into. I mean, it, it it's like yeah. I, I want you to be happy. I do think. We oh, I don't want anybody country. to be happy. I don't think anyone <laughs> can be happy. That's the problem, though. Like with the way that, culture is, it? fuck that. Happy? What? You want to be happy? Odd. You need to cut yourself off the grid, go to the Philippines somewhere, build a hut <laughs> with your own bare hands and live off the land. And you, I'm sure you'll actually be happy for once. I and see. I would not be happy until the Philippines are bombed by America, you know, so. Well, that won't happen. But <laughs> um, or Germany or I mean, Russia. The Philippines or are basically a small U.S. anyways. But uh, oh. it, it's it, it just it just it blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. Yeah, out. it's it's rough, dude. It, it's 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 hard out there for a pimp. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you should, <laughs> oh, God. Frank, Frank's fucking. <laughs> 
shit fucking kidding me. It's what I live you know, for. Like, I, 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 I won't even go ahead and say, honestly, I, I it find probably it actually is hard for pimps you, out there. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. I, I have a, I have a little bit of a, not, not a confession, I guess, but like a kind of revelation that hit me. I, I used to be in the camp of like, why do you, why do you have to come out as gay? Like I didn't come out as straight. Like what's, I don't understand. I <laughs> legitimately didn't understand. Like, sec, be right back. It, well, cause okay. it, it, you're scared to, but, you know, you what your, how your parents are going to react, how the community is going to react, your friends. Well, I think it's more on the, it's, it's letting other people know that it's okay if they feel that way and they don't have to like be ashamed. Yeah. And that's fine. Um, you can, yeah, I just, but like it, it yeah, was just something that I, that I thought was really like, Oh, that's because yeah. I legitimately was like, there's no difference in no. like between wow. me and someone else. But and that's, and, and that's hopefully the mentality that nobody will ever embrace. But, uh, we're all the fucking same. We don't need an entire month dedicated to a certain type of people. Like fucking Morgan Freeman was talking about it, how he doesn't want a black history month because black history oh, yeah. is the world's history. Everybody has like, why do you need us? And it, it like, are you saying what you only get recognized for a month for having right. black culture, black heritage, black, you know, it's like they should be in. And it's like you look at the segregation of, of race, the segregation of gender, the segregation of just how people are mentally. Everybody wants to be separate, but equal. And it's just it doesn't it doesn't work that way, man. We either all come to I, fucking gather or shut the fuck up <laughs> and move and just live your damn lives like fuck. So I I think it's ridiculous that i think it's racist Tennessee, to have a black history month yeah i mean that's I, that's that's I, another <laughs> to be honest i don't I, that, I don't necessarily disagree but <laughs> i thought no, that but that, it's that, like that there's also there's also like uh the new like tennessee rule about like public uh people dressed in drag yeah, like well, and that's like, the other but, thing. Once laws start getting involved with shit like that, like, now, why, you know, why is a that a big deal? Nobody has ever been like, you I know don't what? know, man. It's I think, fucking. There's nah. a fucking movie with it's goddamn John Leguizamo and Wesley Snipes and fucking uh what the, the Tu Wong Fu. Yes, Tu Wong Fu. God damn it! They're all drag queens, and it's just like that's a movie, and it's a popular fucking movie. Hey, have you ever been to a drag show? It's actually a I'm lot sorry. of fun. <laughs> and the most famous drag queen movie is family friendly. Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, true. <laughs> like, That's a really good point. People that love Mrs. Really, Doubtfire. Really good point. Like, would you want Mrs. Doubtfire walking down your streets? Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. So why is it so, a problem if, you know, Jim, who's on like Trishan by day and drag queen by but night? But this whole like, like what, oh, it's an agenda by Disney and the fucking, I'm like, that's not an agenda, man. This is a world we fucking live in. Stop fucking reading into shit. And, yeah. and then, yeah, like Frank said, it's probably just a distraction any fucking way from whatever Biden slipped up. Yeah, doing there's, there. there's <laughs> always, anytime, anytime there's Politico, it's some kind of distraction. There, yeah. There's something sure else waiting on the wings. Like Guantanamo Bay they, or some shit. Yeah, they, they don't want us aware of something else that's going on. So they, yeah. Yeah. they know, get us fighting with media, each other. Media shines the light on something else to keep us distracted from something else going it's, on. it's so funny it's like that school shooting thing like they've got people now defending the shooter like it's like you keep like misgendering them and misnaming them it's like who oh. gives a shit they killed kids fuck yeah. you yeah like, i'll, sure I'll give them a pronoun it's a <laughs> yeah. piece of shit like i'm glad and i was like i yeah. was so happy when i found out the cops shot him I was like, yeah. fuck yeah. It's a child killer. Then you want a yeah. pronoun child killer. Yeah. yeah. That's that's all the pronoun you need. And I'm just like, damn. And then <laughs> my first reaction was like, wow, they actually shot a white person? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Dude? Well, because typically when there's a white shooter, it's like we've, we've taken the, the shooter into custody. But when it's a black guy, you know, that's the whole thing that's been going around. But I was like, damn, they shot him and he was white. Statistically, <laughs> that's definitely not true. I know. 
but it just seemed that way also, from what the media uh, was showing it's us. It's almost a hundred percent white people that shoot up schools. <laughs> it is a hundred percent white people shooting up schools. Yeah. Fuck so, you, whitey. <laughs> um, but it, it just the media having backlash about that, I was like, are y'all fucking serious? Like, and then there was something else. Um there was also oh, Drake was also a Bell big to went do. missing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's like he just went to court for like child endangerment, pled guilty to child endangerment. But I thought it was really yeah. funny because the media was like, oh, he pled guilty. He went to court for like sexual charges against a minor. And I'm like, that is not what he pled guilty to. No, he pled guilty all. to child endangerment. You are out of your fucking y'all are now like putting him in a bad light. And, and which just, is liable, I would imagine. Right. Yeah. But he's gone now. So it doesn't matter. He disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a people, fart in the wind. Well, it says uh, there was like his life might be in danger, like he was kidnapped or some shit. So, I mean, there ain't no yeah. fucking telling what's going on. It's just a bunch of crazy see, shit in the news. Did man. you see his like Zoom meeting or oh, whatever yeah. when he was being it. arraigned? Yeah, it's so cringy, dude. It is. It's terrible. <laughs> it's um, so bad. I just I hate the news. Can we talk about something else? What else was it? <laughs> fucking, I'm so sick of the fucking news and. Fuck. So what are you playing? <laughs> what am I playing? Uh, I have almost got the platinum for Walking Dead Saints and Sinners VR. Walking really Dead. fucking oh, really? close. Oh my god, I'm so fucking... I've got three fucking trophies left. Um, it was giving me motion sickness the other night, though, so I had to stop playing. Mm. Um, which is the first time I've ever gotten motion sickness from VR, so I was like, shit, I probably need to turn down some of the... Uh, the speed settings here for like fast turn and everything like that. Uh, um, I love the VR too. That shit's awesome. Um, yeah, that was so funny. The last time <laughs> when you're like, yeah, I love my face. VR too. Tyler's like, how did you get how it? How did you get it? <laughs> um, a credit card. Uh, <laughs> oh, sweet baby Jesus. Uh, but I, I really like it. I, I wish more games would start coming out for it. Um, other than that, I've been playing uh, Core Keepers with Frank on and off. And uh, what is that? I saw Frank dude, on it earlier, and I was awesome. like, oh. uh, "It's dude, that game." I'm s- it's like I'm surprised. It's it's really good. I don't know, man. It's it's a, like a crafting underground pixel art game with like bosses and and shit like that. I, it's you just gotta play it, man. <laughs> is it like a like a weird like? dungeon crawler sort of yeah it's kind of like a dungeon crawler kind of yeah. yeah i do love i'm dark, curious to know crimes. what what's the co-op limit have we seen a co-op limit on it? i have, i haven't looked i haven't bothered i will look it up right now actually um, uh, i was actually looking at uh at screenshots on it because I, I mean i'm 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 all about getting new games to play with you guys but y'all gotta calm down with these fucking spooky ass ghost <laughs> games no i'm just saying no. spooky games you're all the time three you're it's up to the, three different kinds on, of the it's, same damn game it's the only way i feel things. I, yeah, I was on. about to say i was i was trying to go through a list of co-op games with frank the other night and every oh, recommendation man. he gave me was like a phasmophobia spooky. type spooky. game and i'm like, like dude yeah there's, there's, there's other faz, things there's the demon but there's really not you guys play we, nah, we like for good for a good co-op game i was just looking for something like just we broke it as your seat kind of game we broke it down man there's gotcha. really not a, anything outside of shooters or mmos there's or really, crafters yeah there's really yeah. like survival games that's it <laughs> like there's not like a ton of good multiplayer games uh, i did buy I- tribes of asgard or tribes of midgard though uh because it's like Diablo crafty shit. I thought I heard you talk about that game before. I like it. I played the beta for the newest Diablo. Man, part of the reason why I like the the ghost games though is because it's it's kind of like um, it's comedy that writes itself. Well, it's it's like a detective game too. Like you actually have to, you know, investigate. I I dig the gameplay. I think the actual like the way that it's set up and everything is really cool. Yeah. But yeah, we've been streaming it too on on yeah. my stream. Uh yeah, we gla- have been streaming. Glass Forest Fox mm-hmm. will sometimes stream stream gaming stuff with them 
with the we boys. Can post stuff like on TikTok on, on, or whatever. On the Twitch. On the Twitch. To Twitch. To Twitch. To Twitch. To Twitch. I don't see where it shows how many um, people. All right, Corky Pro on Steam. Let's see. I don't know. Um, but other than that, I've been playing like Dreamlight Valley and losing my mind. Um, nice. Yeah, you know it's uh, cause no, oh, it does have Stardew Valley vi- vibes to it for Core Keeper. Sorry, cause uh, yeah, I don't know what got, what made me want to jump back into to that, but uh, so that's been eating up a considerate amount of time. Um, I haven't gone back to Tim Tim in a while. I haven't really played much on the PlayStation. Um, I don't know why. Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't I haven't touched mine since Hogwarts. I guess I've just been like mm. waiting for fucking Star Wars to come out and I'm just like biding Ugh. my time. Cuz I'm just like fuck, I want to play Star Wars. I I just want to yeah. play Star Wars. Yeah, that first one was so damn good. <laughs> it looks um, so yeah, I, good. I still got to beat I still got to beat the other one. Oh Dude, my god, the new one looks so good. So good. It really does. It really does. I'm, I'm absolutely playing it. I'm. Oh, I'm gonna love it, and I love all the lore shit. And been watching yeah. uh, Mando- Mandalorian and. Uh, oh fuck! I gotta catch up on that. Too. Oh yeah, Mandalorian. What do you guys think of that? I haven't yeah, watched any it? of it yet. Uh, okay, uh, well, I need to. I've watched every episode so far. Yeah. Uh, we we can't talk about it then, since he God. hasn't watched it yet. It's really. Cool. I know somebody was asking the question, like, "Who do you think is the?" I guess there's a spy or something like that. So the or, last episode that came out was called Spies, plural, uh, but we only ever saw one technical spy. So oh. it, it implies that there are other spies within okay. certain groups. So. Well, I, I hope to watch it by the next time we we uh, record and we can talk about um, it. I did watch Renfield over the weekend. Um, uh, yeah, Dracula. Uh, Nick Cage Nick is Dracula. Cage. What took so long? Because that <laughs> was that, amazing. Like That was one of my favorite <laughs> Nicolas Cage uh, performances. It was fucking amazing. Uh, the beginning of nice. the movie, and this isn't really a spoiler, but the beginning of the movie, they recreate the original black and white Dracula movie. Like briefly, really? Yeah, and That's cool. I mean, Nick Cage looks really good as Bella Lugosi. Um, the uh, the movie is very um, campy. Like you don't some of the stuff that like the the crime guys get away with. Like in it, it's very like on the nose campy. Like the just a lot of I don't want to ruin it every time I try to say something I like, nope, that'll ruin something but it's very campy in in a, in a way that's like ah this wouldn't be happening in real life um so it and it and it knows it it knows it's how goofy it is um I and mean, it's fun though like the pacing's really fun gratuitous violence and gore like over yeah. the top shit there was even an x-ray like move straight from Mortal Kombat like oh, well. it was ridiculous um i mean it, to give you an idea at one point he tore off a guy's arms and then threw the arms to pin other guys to walls <laughs> it, all right it was mm-hmm. outrageous it was it had a lot of funny moments uh little things i noticed like aquafina is becoming a better actor like you can tell like she's getting better at just acting in general like moving from tv to movies so quickly as she did like because she she went from her fucking tv show to like a marvel movie with uh shang chi and i guess she was she was good in that yeah and i guess she was also in the crazy rich asians or whatever that was but um yeah no i think she's really funny and i think she's really good at stuff but like her her performance in that in in renfield was like i loved it I was like, usually I have a little bit of contempt for Aquafina because she kind of grates on my nerves o- over a course of time, but I really liked all of her scenes in uh, Renfield. Um, and that that other guy, the the main character who played Renfield, I can never remember the actor's name. Um, love him. He's fucking hilarious. He was in uh, The Menu. Nicholas Holt. Hmm. Um... I loved him in the menu. Oh yeah, I like him. Uh, but he was—he was really good in this. Uh, it was a good movie. 
I I, I recommend it. it very okay. very funny, very gory. If you don't like gore, you won't like it. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Very few down times in between the gore. Um, but it was funny. It was a good movie. I, I'm glad I went to go see it and not like whatever else is at the movies right now. I like still it, need to see Mario. the Dungeons and Dragons and the Mario. Oh, yeah. I guess Dungeons and Dragons. I need to see Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. yeah. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. As have I. Uh, as a matter of fact, Craig was talking about um, if you're watching it through the eyes of somebody who's played Dungeons and Dragons you'll totally be like, oh yeah, I know what happened there. Cause apparently there are, there are things that basically represent like a, a <laughs> just a natural one. <laughs> uh, oh, that's <laughs> like funny. shit will just fall out of somebody's hands or they'll just trip and fall all of a sudden for no reason. I, I do like, know oh, that I know what happened there. <laughs> they, they have a cameo of the eighties cartoon characters briefly in the movie. Nice. Um, okay, and I thought that was it. Yeah, did you ever watch it, Robert? I never did. No, uh, Frank knows what. Because if I did, I was gonna have like an exorcist performed on me. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, but I, I, but I've heard really good things. Um, the Mario movie, I've heard pretty decent things about. I'm, the, I'm kind of upset they just let Jack Black sing in it because I'm like, damn, every scene I've seen of yeah. Bowser was so good and not Jack Black, and then they let him sing, and I'm like, yeah. fuck, <laughs> stop letting Jack Black be Jack Black, let him act, damn it, <laughs> <laughs> so good yeah. in other things when he's not being himself, <laughs> like the house with the clock in the walls, and and uh fucking well how many episodes of the new season of mandalorian have you seen <laughs> i haven't seen any oh my god yeah, well. yeah let's, let's not talk about that <laughs> i liked him in that really yeah i thought uh, he well because it wasn't very jack black i thought it was nice wow. yeah. yeah it was different that's for yeah. sure uh, lizzo was a surprise yeah and and the that other was, one i won't ruin good. the other surprise in that episode but yeah uh, yeah 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 um so. Yeah, no, the the bit 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 you were talking about. What about you, Rob? Uh, what what have you been playing other than the? Well, yeah, tell us about the game you've been playing today, dude. <laughs> what were you playing? Well, first off, baseball season has started, so we know what that means. Um, I am snooze fest. Yeah, I am. I was about to say, you dude, they've done sleep. a lot to like make the game faster and more action. <laughs> Away God. from the mic. Away from the mic. God. I was away from the mic. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> um, I'm now deaf. No, they, they they really have, though. They have, like, you know, pitch clocks. and They have... They <laughs> so sorry. They put the bases closer together, so you have more stolen bases. You have higher scoring games. It's, it's a lot of fun. No game. All the games are under like two hours when it used to be like three um yeah it's 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 a good time to be a baseball fan it's a good time to be a braves fan too but aside from the show i've been playing big ambitions you know anything about this paul kind of i it think i so just good. saw uh josh on let's game it out play it oh it's man i gotta watch so that. good because it's like Love slightly it. open world New York or whatever, and you like make like buy businesses and shit. Well, you're you're an entrepreneur and you open business. Well, you like can, your aunt, your grandma died you, or something. Your uncle's trying to set you up. Yeah, if you're playing the story, that's how yeah. it starts off. But you can just do it like a sandbox that's, style. Yeah, and that's not, not how that. Josh played it. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> he used the hospital the hospital as like his personal transportation. <laughs> nice um but yeah no mm -hmm. you can like you know open up different kinds of businesses and then you can open up headquarters for that to open up even more businesses and eventually take yeah. over the entire city um yeah he but uh, there's like he there's, there's a hundred different ways to do it um 
So it's 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 very much kind of like <laughs> how much we were talking about earlier. It's like what Tyler described. You know, number go up. Oh yeah, you break, everywhere. Break a wee. Yeah, yeah. Um, break a wee. <laughs> no, yeah. It, um, when I saw uh, Josh playing it, I was like, you know, this kind of gives me vibes of that uh, Empire of Sin game. I bet Robert would like this. Well, you bet. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, how much is that game, by the way? Big Ambition. Uh, I what did I pay for it? I don't remember. It was probably twenty bucks. Oh, okay. Um. It's still in beta or like early access. Sure. Um, yeah. Let's see. It looked fun. I, it looked like something I'd probably fuck around with if it was like cheaper. But it's currently twenty three on Steam. But yeah. No. Nah, let that price go down. I think I paid Gubba-goo. seventeen. Uh, yeah, I paid seventeen dollars. That's pretty cool. I don't know. When it goes down to ten, I'll probably get it. Good luck with that. Like I said, it's still in, in early access, so if anything, it's going to go up in price. Yeah. I have been I looking at some games. I was thinking about grabbing Dead Island 2. Well, all right. <laughs> My food is No, cooked. your food it can wait. been cooking for a while. Dude, we're doing a Mississippi pot roast, and it is awesome. There was a have you ever had, something that have upset you ever had that? me. No, I have not had a Mississippi pot roast. Oh, that's so good. Um... There was something that upset me, and Frank said no to it. I wrote it in the show notes. <laughs> you wrote it? It was, oh. it was a stupid fucking commercial from McDonald's, where I guess it was like, <laughs> like Latino actors or directors or something don't don't get enough like attention. And I'm like, isn't Pedro Pascal like one of the biggest fucking like actors in Hollywood right yeah, now? You- you it, said stupid representation commercial for yeah, McDonald's. Yeah, stupid because it's like they're like it was promoting that they lack representation in Hollywood, and I'm like, is it Robert Rodriguez? Well, maybe he's very white, but I'm just there are a lot of Latino directors and actors and actresses and cartoons around Latino characters and video games with Latino characters. There's a lot of video games with Latino characters. I didn't even think about it, like Shadow of the Damned. <laughs> That game, right? That was a Latino character. I didn't fucking know that. Fucking, I well, probably if I had heard the character's name, but even potentially like Sebastian Castellanos from uh, uh, the uh, ooh, what is that game franchise? The detective that goes into like evil Matrix. Detective that goes into full Matrix. No, it goes into the evil Matrix. It's basically, it's like a simulated world, but he doesn't know it in the first game. In the second game, he willingly goes into it. And it's like, uh, it's like Resident Evil. The game plays like Resident Evil. What the fuck is that uh, game called? Why am I was, th- oh man. I remember the guy's name more than I remember Sif- the game. Siphon Filter? No. Mm. Sebastian Castellanos is uh. Evil Within. The evil within for it. Evil within. Okay. Jesus Christ. There's two of those. Fucking couldn't even think of it. Um, yeah. But I don't know. I was sitting there frustrated on the couch because I'm like, there's representation every like you got more representation than like <laughs> fucking like Asian people are just now getting more representation in, in media and shit like that. And fucking like it, it, I just it was I was so aggravated by it because I'm like, there's so much representation. There's a Latino Disney princess and not that like she had a tv show she didn't have a movie but still you know fucking dora the explorer how long was dora the explorer on the fucking air you know (laughs) (laughs) teaching us spanish fuck right well no what was what was that movie that uh um Ben uh, Affleck dated J Lo. What is enough for you, people? No, <laughs> no one cares for Bruno. I know. What, what the hell? It's a musical Disney movie that came out. Oh, and everyone loves. She's not a princess. Yes. Though. Yeah, Mirabelle's not a. She's not a princess. I thought they were kind of sort of. But yeah, even that, and now. that has like shit with fucking what's his name, the guy from Alexander Hamilton, who's directed a shitload of movies recently. Uh, Lin Manuel Miranda. Yeah, Lin Manuel Miranda. Whatever Miranda. Yeah, yeah. Because he did. He yeah. did like in the Heights, and he, he had Alexander Hamilton, and a Paul. Why? Why are you so upset at uh, including other cultures? It's, it's not that. It's just there are other 
cultures that probably need more representation, like Middle Easterns, <sighs> Indians, you know, Latino is not at the top of my list. I would, I would <laughs> love to see more representation of Native Americans. Native Americans. Peoples. That would be cool. I Which would love to see more reservation dogs. representation. Have you watched Reservation Dogs? Res Dogs is amazing. Thank you, Taika Waititi, for that. I that is love Taika fantastic. <laughs> I love that show so, so much. Well, listeners, if you haven't watched it yet, you need to watch it on Hulu. It is fantastic. So fucking good. <laughs> What is um, res dogs? Okay, yes, res dogs. reservation and dogs. Dude, yeah, dude. What's uh, his his uh, spirit guardian's name? What was his name? Oh, I don't fucking remember. Oh my god, that that dude. You need to follow him on YouTube. He is hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, that guy's great. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there does need to be more representation from Native Americans. Indians are starting to get more representation, both in like American Hollywood and like. British Hollywood, whatever British media is, but uh, because that took a long time for so many Indians to live in England, it took so long for them to start being in stuff more. Like you see them a lot more in in uh TV shows and movies that come out of like England studios. Um, but it and then you know what's his name that was in the Eternals? Uh, fucking everybody loves him, the comedian. You know what I'm talking about? We got like super the Eternals? Yeah, he was the Indian guy. Um Pakistani, I don't know, fucking uh Kum, Kum, Kumail. Oh my god. Yeah, Kumail something or other. I can't think of it. Nanjiani, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Kum yeah. Fuck yeah, whatever. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Oh. He got super ripped for Eternals. He um, was yeah. And he was in the Chippendales movie. And he was also in uh, Silicon Valley. Yeah. And he was in that yeah, one sure. movie with Dave Batista where he was like an Uber driver. Oh, um, yeah. that's such a good show. It, like, it's, that guy, it's, <laughs> all of India is Yo. on his shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking. Well, uh, it was either between him, Cal Penn, and uh, the guy from yeah. uh, uh, The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> well, it's like other stuff too, though. Like, I, I saw a trailer for like Gizmo. Which is the fucking Gremlins prequel spinoff cartoon, mm -hmm. and it's an entirely Asian cast. They're like, it's all Asian people, like, and it's and you knew it was like every Asian actor because George Takei's name showed up and fucking like <laughs> it just fucking everyone. If you think of an Asian actor, the first one in your mind, they're in this Gizmo movie, hundred percent guaranteed. <laughs> like. <laughs> Or a TV show, whatever it is. Uh, but I thought it was funny. I, it's just like there's th that that commercial from McDonald's just was like, why is McDonald's pretty? B D Wong, Ming Na Win, James Hong, F Randall Park, George Takei, Sandra O. Oh, like they just got all the most famous Asian actors and threw them in this fucking Gremlin movie or TV show. I keep calling it a movie. Right. Oh, sorry. The the main character is played by a white guy. Never mind. Womp womp. Failed. Womp womp womp. The main kid is voiced by a Welsh actor. That is... What? All right. God. I really do have to get going. All right. All right. Whatever, man. Have a great dinner, sir. Have no, no dad jokes. I, I didn't I didn't have any prepared. No. Oh, after all wait, this Wait, no. Time, I have right. one. I, I have one. You have one? Yes. Uh oh, Paul's got a dad joke. <laughs> I um <laughs> I started a band called 999 Megabytes. <laughs> Never had a gig. Damn, Robert, not no. even a pity laugh. No. <laughs> what do you mean no? <laughs> oh, whatever what you want. <laughs> whomp, whomp, whomp. How do you guys do that? <laughs> <laughs> all right it was fun yes it was for Maybe those listening we we discovered the soundboard on the uh, discord so <laughs> that's you that's discovered what we're cracking up about <laughs> yeah oh man whatever right. that was a good all dad right. joke you didn't have one Deuces. so fuck you <laughs> <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> 
Oh, God. Are you doing it, Paul? Oh, that's right. It's <laughs> been so long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> Goodbye, everybody. Tickles the mic's balls. <laughs> I got to. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. <laughs> This has been A Kettle of Fish. You can contact the show by emailing a kettle of fish podcast at gmail.com. Be sure to like and subscribe from anywhere you get your podcasts.